So today here in the man cave, I thought we would uh, show you a little something here. Um, I bought a couple of these, as you can see over here in the background, a couple of these uh, lights online and um, got a really good price on them. And I uh, thought I would um, show you all how these things wire up and what it takes to, um, you know, to get them to where they flash or whatever you might want them to do. There is, you know, you can just leave them wired up directly if you wanted. And um, I'll show you real quick. I started pulling this one here apart. Is going to be wired where to flash and thought I'd show you this real quick. So online, I went and ordered a, well, the sequencer, I think is what they call it. And um, it, uh, it hooks it up inside here with the lights themselves so that it'll do a flash pattern. And as you can see, it's just normal um, lights, traffic lights, and I get them open, come in here, got screws here on all these and unscrew them, open them up, and inside here you'll find what all's here in the system itself. Um, this one is um, just a, I'm not gonna open that one, but this one just has a, um, as you can see here, this is where everything was hooked in. When the guy hooked it up, he came in that I bought it from. He just had it hooked here and here to hot. You had all your red, yellow, and green run to the hot side. You had your whites, which are your neutrals, run to the white side. And when you plug it in, that just brings it on where it comes on. And um, so what we're going to do is we're going to wire this up to where it um, will do a flash pattern. And uh, show you what it looks like. Um, it's kind of cool. Um, this thing here will let you do that. And uh, here on this uh, sequencer, there is power in and neutral connection. And you've got, if you read on it, and it does come with directions that you can, uh, you know, look at and it'll show you exactly how to do it. But it's really simple. Um, you've got a red area, a yellow area, and a green area. And on those, you've got your L and N. You're gonna be your line in, which is power, neutral. You'll hook those up. Of course, you've got your yellow and white off that one. You've got your red and white off of the red. And you've got a brown and white off the green. Now, some of them do have the green and white, but I'm assuming that got confusing with ground. So they, lots of them are running the brown and white. And the brown and white would go into the green. And that would turn on the patterns in here. And then within this system, there's buttons here that you can push. I'm not gonna go over that, but they're in here. And the directions that will tell you what you need to push to make whatever pattern you want. When it comes with that set automatically when it powers in is going to be red light, green light three seconds, yellow light for one second, then back to gray, red, um, red light three seconds. And that's just what it does the whole pattern. So we'll get you in here on this and we'll show you how to fix up real quick and um, we'll just kind of go from there. Like I said, you got your hot coming in, or your power wire, I'm sorry, coming in, that's your power source. Hooks right here to this one. You're gonna have a neutral and a hot. Then you're gonna take your red light coming in underneath, run it through, because you're gonna mount everything in here. You got the same thing, gonna have an N and an L. White, neutral, red, L. Same with the yellow light, white, neutral, yellow, L. Same with the green light, White neutral, in this case, brown wire, hot. And um, that's going to be how you wire all of this in. Super easy. I suggest disconnecting it from this. Some people will run leads off of it and jump it from the little box in here. But you know, as you can see on the box itself, I mean, you know, this box is, is rusty. It's not gonna make great connections. There's not a need for it. These wires can hook directly into what you need it to go into. And that's right there how it goes. I'm not sure if you can see that, but on the back there, you can see where it says, you know, red, yellow, green, real easy. Now, this little kit comes with 
the stuff you see in this box. And what this is, is um, got some zip ties to zip tie up all these wires. It's got these little feet. It's got tape on them, double-sided tape. These little feet are gonna hook to the back side of here. And those will go in. Very important, you clean this surface, then peel your tape, and it will stick to the surface. Now, I haven't had great luck with it staying on that surface. I just don't know if the double-sided tape's not that great. So what I use is I take a little bit of silicone and I dab it around the edges of the feet on all four, let it dry, and then it's not coming off. And then um, after we get all this hooked up, I'll put it back up here and we'll just do it on regular time and show you how these feet hook up and then we'll plug it in, show you how it works. Right, well, before we hook all that up, I was gonna put them feet on, but let's just show you real quick how this, that this does. I can pull this one down. in there we go we got the red we got the green that's going to jump to and we got the yellow that it's going to go to real quick just like that and like i said this is the patterns that it's going to give you at the moment as you can see here you got lights that are flashing off in and there as well and uh you can go in here and reset all these with these little push buttons here. I'm not going to do them. I kind of like what it does. It moves through it kind of quickly and doesn't sit on any of them very long. So, all right, that's how you do it. Let's get these feet put on here and then we'll set it up and show what it looks like. All right, we'll get these feet put on and get this stuck down and kind of give you an idea what it looks like. And you just kind of slide them through. I unplug everything for this and you know, we plugged it into check it to make sure how it worked and I go ahead and unplug it I don't want to touch anything back here you shouldn't be touching this thing I'm sure it's hot I'm because I'm not an electrician here um it's just it doesn't seem very complicated to hook up at all and um I just you know I don't think it's that difficult at all so just disconnect it and put your feet on get your surface clean get it mounted up and uh and get your everything zip tied off and go from there. Feet on, peel the sticky back paper. And um, I clean the surface off. Um, I'm a mechanic shop, so I just use a little bit of brake cleaner. You could use alcohol, prep, any of that kind of stuff. and. Um, just something to clean the surface so you get that dirt off there because it's got dust in there for probably 20 years however old this light is and if you're running the led lights which this one is um these will clear this sitting right here in this little pathway and um they um because these flat spots to put it there's there's stuff in the way and you're not able to mount it so it doesn't move around so because these lights you know you never know where you're going to put them at or where they're going to be so you want to get them you know, mounted to where you can know it's not going to fall off or ever get hit. Because once it starts moving around in there, you know, it could ground out on the backside of one of these lights or something. Or a wire touch where it shouldn't. So, anyway, just stick it down and give it a good pressing. And it sticks really good. I've never had one of the older ones with the regular lights that has the big dome on the back. So, I'm not sure if this area would work or not so anyways all right we'll pause here for a second and we'll get the silicone and get this put on here get all the wires zip tied up and then we'll show you what it looks like after i looked a little bit closer at where i had this mounted here originally this box here this dome as you can tell is a little different than this dome well, all the ones i've dealt with in the past have been this style dome so this is i've always mounted in the middle one it's just easy. The wires seem to run easy. You can trim them up. They look good. All the runs are look good. And, um, well, when I pulled this one down, I went in with my light and my camera and went through this little hole right here with the light in this hole, pulled the door down, and it was just barely resting on these three right here. And I just don't want to take a chance. Will it hurt it? I don't know. I don't have the answer. I know that this one this style dome here does not hit it. 
And finding a place in here for these, depending on what's there, sometimes can be really difficult. I have seen people mount them on the outside if they're gonna leave them indoors. They mount them on the backside and you don't, you never have a problem. Or they mount them in a completely different box that they can, can go in and control and change the settings as they want. I like them being in the box. I'm not gonna change them. I like how it's, the flash pattern that it's doing now. But anyways, we got it moved. We moved it over, cleaned up all the wiring, got everything zip tied up. These do not get hot, they're LED. So I've had them running all day long and I've felt the back and they're not hot. So that being said, everything is hooked up. It's all hooked up. As you can see, I went in with um, the stuff right here. It's what I use, a little bit of black silicone um, gasket maker. And I just hit the edges just to make sure that it never pulls out, moves around any of that stuff. And, and it shouldn't. It stuck down really good with the feet also. So even though I did have to unstick it here and I lost a little bit there, I turned it and got it back where it needed to be. So anyways, we're gonna let that dry for a little bit and we'll bring you back, get it turned on and show you what it looks All like. All right, so if you follow my channel, you know that um, I have a uh, man cave here. Uh, well, we call it the man cave. That's the name of the channel. It's man cave garage. We do restoration work, we do repairs. And um, I'm always looking for something um, you know, to, to add to my shop, just to make it what I want it to be. Um, you know, I, um, we're doing the lights. I thought you probably saw this in the background, bought this the other day, um, refrigerator for it. And, uh, it works. I mean, 300 bucks online and it's you know, from the mid forties and, uh, it's been painted. Someone painted it with a brush. We're going to clean it up. Um, being that it's already ruined on its color, we're probably going to go back with the painted yellow and, uh, just kind of keep going with what we got here. But anyways, to these lights, um, got it working. You can see them up here in the background. Um, you know, they're, they're on, they're working. The one over there that we're looking at right now is the one that we were wiring up and uh, it has the arrow on it itself. And um, it's doing what it's supposed to do. There is a time delay and you can see the difference in, you know, this one here is set on, I think it's a three second, one second, three second. Uh, where this one over here is set on a six second, six second, three second, I believe, on the yellow. So, but these two are mine. Um, I bought these for the shop. This is what I wanted in here um, to go with what we're doing here. And um, these are the other two I bought and they're wired up, ready to go. And I've already got them sold. I right, just thought we'd do a little something different here. Uh, like I said, I really like these things. I've always wanted one. Found a guy selling them super cheap. They just weren't finished. They didn't have this uh, sequencer in them and they didn't have the hoods on them. And uh, he hooked me up with uh, with the lights and called him up, asking where I get the hoods. He said, man, I might have some out here. They might be cracked, a little broken. I said, I don't care. Just let me get what you got. And we made some work. So it looks good. I, I like them and um, I think it adds a lot here uh, to the man cave. So, well, hey, thanks for watching. And um, like I said, Go, go buy these things, hook them up. They're not hard at all to wire. So, all right. Well, hey, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you next time here in the main cave. All right, bye.